They're miles away. Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. I can give you directions, if you like. He'll be at the castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area, Hopefully, they will still be there. We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. Technically, the Circle of Magi is independent. We don't know that the Chantry won't support us, of course. <laughs> you truly believe that? If we speak to the First Enchanter, he should see that his responsibility to the Grey Wardens supersedes anything the Chantry or even Tanlo Gain might have to say about it. If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Then you have a plan. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. Stop looking at me. What happened Mongrel? to the king is so terrible. Why do you keep staring at me so, you flea-ridden beast. Can you not? when you were not wanted. I enjoy company of creatures of the wild, not stench-ridden domesticated wolves. And he persists. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. I'm just warning you, things may not be as hospitable as you would expect. People are frightened. The ban has marched north with Terran Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you.
As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? Greetings to you, good sir. If it isn't too much to ask, might you spare some bread or... or anything? We thought it would be safer in Lothering, that the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. Mother! Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. All right. Just don't buy everything up. <laughs> 